Early days, I guess, but I think we can say, thank goodness for common sense. Tuesday, June 28th, saw the PCRs conducted for July. One unnamed lower division man and Takayasu came back positive. Right up until this May, as we saw with Ichi no Jo, wrestlers testing positive even 12 days before a tournament were told not to compete. But this time, Sumo's press chief says, things will differ. In line with other sports, Takayasu will keep taking tests and, it seems, can take to the July Dohyo if he comes back negative soon. His training will be disrupted, of course, but that goes for any injured wrestler right now, too. Catching COVID is unlucky, but, if asymptomatic, not a unique disadvantage. One now wonders, come to think, whether the ex Haruma Fuji will be tested, given the two had dinner last weekend. On the plus side, then, despite continued lack of guidance from government, not even serious discussion on dispensing with masks, Sumo is moving forward to offer ways for infected men to compete sooner. On the minus side, other illogical calls are still puzzling fans. I'm supposed to be at Hanare Goma stable right now, for the final day of training before the Nagoya bound train. But last weekend saw sumo chiefs suddenly reimpose their two week rule banning outsiders from the stable. Considered in isolation, as almost everything in Japan is, this seems a good idea. But considered in context, just before wrestlers must travel to crowded stations to catch crowded trains to a crowded Nagoya and set up camp in shrines and other public spaces which nearly anyone can enter, it seems pointless. Thus common sense is prevailing, but has not yet won completely.